a state council meeting was held at Asorok Villa in a bid to find ways to manage the harsh economic situation that we find ourselves in this country. But why some leaders, both past leaders, some military head of states, some past uh, presidents, uh, the likes of uh, uh, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, um, former president Goodluck Jonathan, former president Muhammad Buhari, and um, uh, the military head of states like uh, Abu Salim Abaka and uh, Bowen. Why these men came together to profile solution to the lingering economic um, issue that we have in this country? The likes of Bayo and Manuga will not stop destroying, creating problem in this country by repeatedly preaching hate speech against the Igbos. The man went as far as being blunt and made it public that he does not owe apology for anybody that Igbos actually represented threat to southwestern Nigeria. I begin to ask myself, how can somebody, a full-grown man, somebody who have sense, reason and talk like that. Why should buy your no longer will not shouldn't mind his business concentrate on the job that he is assigned to do by the president instead of helping the president to to organize the the economy for this country to move forward he is busy preaching hate speech among tribes in Nigeria during the uh, presidential address to protesters the president did say that the people who are taking undue advantage to threaten a session part of this country, that the law will cut up with them. Mr. President, sir, the people who are actually threatening some session of this country, you know them, they are in your cabinet. By your no no guy is, is VUCA, he's not, he doesn't hide his feelings about his hatred for Igbos. And we're asking why? Every time Igbos must leave Lagos, for what Igbos contribute, it is not, in fact, Take it or leave it. Igbos have contributed in building Lagos. It is an advantage for Lagos State to have a business moguls that do business and live in Lagos. Today, Lagos State is rated to even bigger than the, uh, some uh, country in, in Africa. Why? Because you have some business class who are doing business, who are helping to boost the economy of Lagos. The constant hatred by some element from uh, Southwest has become an alarming and something needs to be done. I listened to your speech when you were preaching peace to our counterpart countries within the African continent, especially the West African uh, uh, countries. Whereas in your country, between the three major tribes, some fraction from that tribes, which happens to come from where you come from Mr. President are the people preaching hate among other tribes and you are looking a deaf ear as if you are not seeing them. You are only uh, saying a mere word that the people who want to take on do advantage as if you don't know them. Let me remind you that Bayo Nonoga and Dele Alaki, the current Minister of Solid Mineral, they are not doing your government any good except of course if, you are, if they are carrying out your order because you can't claim that you do not know them. You even hire them, they are part of your cabinet. You can also tell me that you have not been seeing their utterances against other tribe. Not only Igbo, Igbo is anyway. Against other tribe. Okay, look at the recent concluded and bad, bad governance uh, protest. Dela Alake told the media that he didn't see the recent concluded and uh, bad governance protest as a protest. That it was actually geared towards changing the regime of uh, the national security advisor also was on hand to present the security situation of the country and he did inform the council of state you know about the pre core during and post events of the last protests uh, which i do not call a protest i call a movement to effect the change of regime by force which was also resisted. And so, you know, the council thanked Nigerians at large for resisting any unconstitutional move to change government. If anybody is not satisfied with the government, any current administration, 
there's always an election coming. So you wait for election and cast your vote the way you deem fit. Is it because you're privileged to be close to government that you do not actually know the current hardship in this country? Like, you don't, you don't have any idea of what ordinary Nigeria is going through. For Nigerians to come out on the streets to tell government of the day to sit up, fulfill their constitutional duties, which was the reason why Nigerians voted them into power, is now a crime. Whereas, during your time, you protested with your colleagues and friends and brothers against other government. Why is it different now? Our president, our current president, Bola Ametimu, led protests countless, countless times. Nobody crucified him. Nobody labeled him all sort of names because it was in his constitutional right for him and other Nigerians to protest. Why is it that anything that is done under this government, they must read the negative meaning to it? A government that is saying that there is no money, that Nigeria should be patient. But they are busy buying SUV cars worth 160 million to senators and house of rep. A government that says that Nigeria should be patient, there is no money, is busy. Mapped out a whopping 20, uh, 1 billion naira to renovate a vice president's house or office. A government that says there is no money, an average senator is receiving 21 million naira per month, yet we are being told there is no money. How much is yam? How much is rice? Not to talk of beans. Because you can get it at ease. You think people are not suffering. You need to do it all, Mr. Dela Alake. Come to the market yourself and see things for yourself. Nigerians are suffering. If you do not know, let me tell you. Nigerians are suffering. You must not politicize everything just because you find yourself in a position of power. You must not politicize everything and crucify or call people name at will because you feel you're close, close to presidency. You're protected. My message to Mr. President is it is now imperative that you do something about this two gentlemen. Call them to order. Make Nigeria believe that you are not in support of their rascalities. Make Nigeria believe that you are never in support of the hate speeches. In the case of Bayo Nonoga, who have contradicted himself countless times, during Jonathan, he openly, bluntly told Nigerians that Jonathan should go, that subsidy would re uh, remain. What is the case today? A man who speaks from the both side of his mouth. What I am saying, Mr. President, is that Bayo Nonoga and Dele Alake and their likes should be cautioned for the peace of this nation. They should be cautioned. What country are we building? This constant hate speech is what is giving rise to some section of this country who are saying that they want to be on their own. Because you cannot beat a child and expect that child not to cry. The level of marginalization that is meted on the southeastern part of this country is something that if it were southwest, they won't, they won't even survive it. That is the truth. Yet, you people do not want to leave them alone. Everything they do is wrong. And I'm asking myself why. Of course, they passed a vote of confidence on you. In the spirit of that vote of confidence that I've passed on you, Mr. President, do the needful. Show Nigerians that you're actually for us, that you are not against some fraction of this country or some part of this country. You are a commander-in-chief of Federal Republic of Nigeria, commander-in-chief of armed forces. You are not the president of the Southwest alone. You are not the president of the North or the Northwest, Northeast. You are not the president of the Southeast alone. You are the president of Federal Republic of Nigeria, which you owe us a duty. You swore an oath to protect the life and property of every citizen of this country. Nigerians are not asking for much. We have food insecurity in the country. Farmers can no longer go to farm, farm safely without being fear of bandit. Villagers can no longer sleep with their two eyes closed because of insecurity. Just look at the amount of security men that were unleashed just because of peaceful protest. Imagine if you can deploy such force on the insecurity, the bad boys who are terrorizing this country. 
won't have problem. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I want to rest my case for now. And I do hope that you do something about this if you get this video.